Nigerians. <laughs> Confessional. Tinubu made mistakes, so APC Chief Ten admits. See the list of mistakes that got he listed that got Nigerians talking. So that means these people they knew, they are aware of everything. You understand that happened and all that. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to to share this video. Like us, I beg. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. Edicts or edits. Okay, edits. A chieftain of the ruling All Progressive Congress (APC) has admitted that President Bola Tinubu has made some mistakes since he became since he became president about nine months ago. As the, the APC chieftain identified the mistakes, he also prescribed some steps which he wants President Tinubu to quickly take to tackle the economic hardship in Nigeria, including a declaration of a state of emergency in all critical sectors of Nigeria. Mr. Edet from Akwaibom State is a former national vice chairman, okay, of the People's Democratic Party, PDP South. He defected from the PDP to the APC last year in an open letter to president bola metinubu which was circulated on some whatsapp groups over the weekend mr edit said hyperinflation hunger and anger have made a time bomb of nigerians however earlier in the week mr edit took ownership of the open letter as he claimed that he indeed uttered, uttered the letter. The signs of a dangerous crescendo building up are too ominous, too scary, and the monumental too ferocious. The consequences would be die for our country democratic experience and political elites you must therefore move to to print the breakout of any protest in the magnitude of answers he told the president mr edit said the removal of west subsidy by president bola Tinubu was sudden and uncoordinated and that the Nigerian economy has suffered serious destruction because of it. Even in advanced countries, where power, power supply is stable, taken for granted, their people enjoy some form of subsidy or the other. Nigeria had not to be the exemption, especially considering that most household firms generate uh, their power supply. Fuel subsidy was the only social welfare programs of the government that was guaranteed to uh, trickle down to every last person in the country. It had a profound direct impact on the welfare and job creation potential of even the poorest Nigerians. Its sudden and all coordinated removal has unleashed a most fearsome and debilitating poverty on the people, he said. I am aware that abuses, dubious and corrupt activities associated with the fuel subsidy program elicited a patriotic cause for for it to be removed however it is in its implementation should not have been hurried nor the consequences of its removal not planned for i must concede that what has been done has been done but the strategic importance of the price of way to the economy 
cannot be overemphasized as it effects and is affected by the exchange rate, the price of goods and other costs of living that have skyrocketed to the high heavens are a direct consequence of high prices of petroleum products in an era of exchange rates. The APC chief then recommended some steps President Bola Tinubu could take to improve the economy. He said the federal government should work with Dangote Refinery, the Portaico Refinery, the Kaduna Refinery, and the Modola Refinery to deliberately bring down drastically the price of fuel within a specific time frame. We cannot continue with the present pricing of petroleum products. It is unacceptable and severely detrimental to the survival of the poor masses, he said. What the government is working on, the, the diversifying and improving the foreign exchange earning capacity of the country, it should be unproductive to hang the value of our currency on the raw faces of demand and supply without also working on reducing the pressure on available foreign earnings. Our country is our sovereignty, but shocking the, the massive devaluation that your policy brought upon, it has eroded confidence on the Naira as a store of value. Most Nigerians, most Nigerians have resorted to converting their weight to other currencies due to a complete loss of confidence in the present and future value of the Naira. This had to the, the foreign exchange whoops of our currency. Mr. Edot Edet recommended the following measures to help lift the value of Naira. One, individuals and registered corporate entities operating in Nigeria should be barred from demanding payment in foreign currencies. No matter the value, the government agencies should charge fuels for service and rendered within Nigeria in our currency. This will help boost the confidence in the Naira. Two, all export both oil and non-oil exports should be properly doc documented and proceed repatriated via a designated account with the CBN. The exporters should only be entitled to proceed in our local currency, the Naira. Three, the government must revisit the owners and operator, operators of oil wells in Nigeria with a view to ensuring that the, the proceeds of businesses are repatriated through CBN designated accounts. Four, all Nigerian registered businesses should be banned from holding their board meeting outside the country why it should be mandatory for them to declare their dividends in the currency of the host country, Nigeria. Mr. Edet recommended that the government should compel Nigerian students not to travel abroad for studies, except in a situation where their preferred course of study is not available in any Nigerian university. He also recommended that the government should stop Nigerians from traveling abroad for medical treatment, except on issues that cannot be handled in any medical facility in the country. The basic travel allowance should be allowed only once in five years. Business travel allowance must be approved by the Ministry for Trade, which shall review the purpose and the benefits of such travel to the economy of this country, he said. For Nigerians' manufacturing sector to be revived, Mr. Edith recommended a review of trade treaties 
an agreement between Nigeria and other countries and a ban on the importation of several items, including private jets, motor vehicles, for at least five years. <laughs> Would this happen? Everything you are saying will definitely affect the politicians. So, I beg, better not just talk go far. How do I see this one? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.